There it is, the holy grail of tools. We're about to dig into this stringer. Y'all ready, kids? I know you guys remember this when we pulled the first big chunk out by hand. We were really surprised at how much wood was coming out, but we had no clue. When we really started digging into these stringers, we were beyond surprised at how much we were able to dig out. Get a load of this. Yeah, mulch. But we were trying to keep a good attitude about it. You ready to do some gardening? Do some gardening? You want to plant the garden? You want to plant the garden in the spring? Yeah, cilantro, in the basil. Probably got all the good potting soil that we need. Yep, we kept digging and digging with that chisel until finally we found this. Check it out, GoPro. That's the whole way up in the light right there. Our first sighting of the hole. A bit disheartening that we could dig right down to her. But we were trying to stay focused on the fact that we were getting it repaired and what we were learning in the process. One thing we found was that the stringers were not glassed on top, and we think this helped contribute to the rot. Brandon, we do need to kind of mark is where the paint. Finally, far out to starboard, we did find some wood. We got to some actual wood, honey. Sure. That's what wood looks like. Oh. We wouldn't know. I think we had wood in here. We had a lot of it on our boat. That was a woodless stringer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we finally found some. That's what wood looks like. Nice. It's day one of digging. That is the hole. We've made it. And that is our stringer. <laughs> and that is Philip's face about it. <laughs> But we were focusing on the positive. Get to get this badness out, you know. The next step would be to cut the fiberglass and dig the rest of the rotten stringers out. This required some serious gear. You know what? I like the place. Wow. A. Oh no, she's got her coverall outfit. I'm gonna That's gonna like be that. going on her soon. Because, With yeah, hood and boots. Boots. Like Extra boots. brandy, you can put both of them in it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and respirators, and safety goggles, and the little matter of the face sock. I could not let you guys miss this. It, but the rest of the shipyard told us to make face socks. I thought we were going to rob a bank to pay for this whole <laughs> rigging project. So here's my aerial silks with all the runs, but. Um, I'm trying to think how to do this, but it's for the um, fiberglass and stuff that's going to go on our face right here. He said we're retarded to not have face socks. We don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're shitting together. Well, that's clear. We don't know what we're doing. I know. I know. Like, everybody knows we're, we're pretty big idiots. What would you think? I'd think like a nice thigh section. Yeah. Like dark meat or white. You want a big thigh? The bigger, the better. <laughs> Let the camera run the whole time. All right, good. now we're ready to rob a bank mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. cut fiber bus. Either one. <laughs> but remember all that taping we did, all that tedious prep work to make sure our little boat was perfectly ready for a fiberglass job? Yeah, look where that got us. I mean, if it ain't one problem, it's a damn another. What's going on down here? Well, we it's like everything over. fell. Yep. Area. Two days of rain and moisture in the air, and just about 80% of it fell down. We had a big, wadded up, taped up mess. But what do you do when things fall apart on the boat? You break out the duct tape. This is our retape job. It's even worse than the first one. But we got it back up. So, here we go. We would not be deterred. We taped that plastic crap back up and decided we were going to cut fiberglass that day. Now, it was just time to suit up. Look at Philip. What a sexy beast. I mean, goddamn Ghostbusters. What are you going to call? 
That's right, we make hazmat look good. Next up, we cut. Stay tuned. Liking the videos? Awesome. Subscribe on YouTube and go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow along on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. <laughs> you can't. How's it looking, folks? You can't.